Conservatives could lampoon an immigration reform rally the way left-wing pundits, commentators, entertainers, and politicians ridicule the Tea Party movement. Yes, this rally was comprised of nearly all one-color participants, or monochromatic as they like to say of us. There were plenty of fat people and upside down and misspelled signs. The speakers were angry and the signs were more extreme than Tea Party signs. Pathetically so. According to their signs, Arizona and other states and counties have become equal to apartheid, Nazi Germany, genocide, and Jim Crow. Really? Is this even remotely attached to reality? So this protest could be laughed off in the sophomoric, immature way the libs mock the tea parties, but there was a much more shocking aspect to this protest. The open promotion and acceptance of the most radical communism, leftist revolution, and militancy. In contrast, the tea parties are strongly patriotic, filled with a sea of American flags. Each event starting with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag, the national anthem, and often prayer. The events are filled with patriotic songs and expressions of gratitude to the police, the military, and those who protect us, and are also replete with references to the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Founding Fathers. Not here. There were a few flags, no pledge, no prayer, no national anthem. Instead, many participants were busy reading and passing along to one another the most extreme communist literature. This handout, for instance, reads in part, We live under a system of capitalism imperialism, a system in which U.S. imperialism is the most monstrous, most oppressive superpower, a system driven by a relentless chase after profit, which brings horror upon horror, a nightmare seemingly without end. For the vast majority of humanity, poverty and squalor, torture and rape, the wholesale domination and degradation of women everywhere, wars, invasions and occupations, assassinations and massacres, planes, missiles, tanks and troops of the USA bombarding people in faraway lands while they sleep in their homes or go about their daily lives, blasting their little children to pieces, cutting down men and women in the prime of life or in old age, kicking down their doors and dragging them away in the middle of the night. While here in the USA itself, the police harass, brutalize, and murder youth in the streets of the inner cities over and over again, and then they spit out their maddening insults, insisting that this is justified, as if these youth are not human beings, have no right to live, deserve no respect and no future. A system which offers millions and millions of youth no greater purpose, no better fate than crime and punishment, or to become a mindless killing machine for the system itself. That alone is reason enough to sweep this system from the face of the earth. Some say this is all God's will and we just have to put it all in God's hands. But it was not some God that got us into this situation, and it won't be some God that will get us out of it. The truth is, there are no gods, and we don't need them. The revolution we need. It is this system that has got us in the situation we're in today, and keeps us there. And it is through revolution to get rid of this system that we ourselves can bring a much better system into being. The ultimate goal of this revolution is communism, a world where people work and struggle together for the common good, where everyone contributes whatever they can to society and gets back what they need to live a life worthy of human beings, where there are no more divisions. This capitalist imperialist system is in crisis. The system is bankrupt. The system is rotten to the core. 
This system is based on ruthless exploitation. This system commits so many monstrous crimes and causes so much unnecessary suffering. We do not need to be sacrificing even more to rescue this system. This system needs to be swept aside. Its crimes against humanity stopped cold. Its institutions dismantled and replaced by ones that empower people to build a new society free of exploitation and oppression. The same people that racial profile brown people are the same people that racial profile black people. America. This is a serious and dangerous situation. John Adams wrote that America is a nation of laws, not men. Yet they called for lawlessness. All patriotic Americans must resist, not the rank and file deceived who are often confused, but the leaders in their propaganda pushing for a radical extremist juggernaut seeking to sweep this system, yes our American system, from the face of the earth. Make friends with your immigrant neighbors. With kindness, help them to see the poison being fed to them and demand from our representatives a closing of the border. America must stop our hemorrhaging border before we are consumed in the same communist uprising sweeping South America. I had to see it to believe it. Now you have seen the seriousness of our situation. What are you going to do about it?